Uh. It's like our wall is a giant refrigerator. I love it. <laughs> Gee, Bob, if I didn't know any better, I think you wouldn't like my paintings. What? No. I... No, no, no. I know what I'm being lied to, Bob. It's like when I look at myself in the mirror and say, it's going to be okay. Welcome to Feast on Film. Today we're going to be continuing our burger book cooking series with the fifth burger in the book, the Poblano Picasso Burger. Let's feast. So I will say the ingredients are a little bit more complex this time around. You've got your usual suspects, your tomato, your white onion, some Boston lettuce, a juicy jalapeno, but then you also have some husk tomatillos. But we got four of those and one medium to large green poblano pepper. But we also make a lot of cheeseburgers in this cooking series, so we're gonna be going with some uh, Monterey Jack cheese as well. And then of course, uh, the ground beef. All in all, not too bad, right? First things first, let's get this onion cut up and we'll go from there. As we cut up the veggies, it's very important that your heart is in it. They can usually tell when it's not, especially the poblana peppers. Moving on to the tomatillos, these cute little guys were easy to unravel and quarter. I'm glad I was able to find some fresh ones, as they are arguably the most important part of our salsa. I found the fattest heirloom tomato at my supermarket, and I made sure to cut that baby thick. Thinly slice your jalapeno to make it easier on your blender or food processor. We will add it in near the end. The same thing kind of applies to the Monterey Jack cheese. We want it to be very thin so that it melts easy on top of the burger. Just look at that beautiful stack of cheese. My goodness. So we've got pretty much all of our ingredients prepped. So now we're just gonna start creating the salsa verde that's gonna go on top of the burger. We're gonna cook these in butter till they're translucent, and then we're gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on this, put it in the oven at a very high temperature until it starts to blacken, and then we'll go from there. We're gonna coat our vegetables, you know, really lather them up, get in there, mix them around, get them nice and coated, transfer them into a pan, and then it's time to get some butter in a pan, mix it around, swirl it around, and then you'll add your onions, mix those around, cook for a little bit until they turn translucent. The smell of onions cooking in butter is just truly magical. That and garlic, both of those together too, is just unbelievable. It's just one of my favorite parts about cooking. Now back to our other vegetables. And bake at 500 degrees or as close to as hot as the sun as your oven will allow. Now we'll transfer all of your cooked vegetables to a blender, starting with your onions and then your baked ones. They should be starting to blacken and the skin beginning to fall off. It sounds morbid, and maybe it is. They seem to enjoy it though, which in my opinion is pretty messed up. Now race over and add your jalapenos to the salsa. With the salsa good to go, we can shift our focus on the star of the show, the patty. We create our meat sphere, then we season it greatly with salt and pepper, and now it's ready for its destiny. While that pan's heating up, I got a question for you. A lot of people think the Boss Burgers peak between seasons three and five. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, we'll talk about it. All right, back to the burger. Now it's the best part of the cooking process. Let's cook this patty up right. You treat it right, I guarantee it'll return the favor. Add some cheese. Get your buns and toast them. So everything's done. Now we just have to put it together and then uh, we can bite into this bad b So, Poblano Picasso Burger, assemble. I'll we'll start with the lettuce, as we always do. Then the thick boy slice of tomato, then our juicy burger, then a nice helping of our salsa verde. Well guys, it looks incredible, smells incredible. I guess it's time for me to bite into this and uh, tell you how it tastes. I apologize for what you're about to witness. But this one is incredible. I would say this is the best one I've made so far without a doubt. 
just like the saltiness mixed with like the tanginess of like the uh, salsa verde, you know, like the and the spiciness from the jalapeno, just mixes so well with the, like the Monterey Jack cheese, and it just like balances. It just it came together so well, and the crunch and the tomato, it's just just like just the bun. Everything about this, I, honestly, this is blowing my mind. This is without a doubt the best one I've made so far. And I highly recommend it. So if I was going to give it a rating, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. This one is incredible. Like, I got to get some sort of bell or something that can hang right here. I can just like ring it whenever we get like a really high score. Thanks for coming back for another episode of our cooking series. We're going to continue hammering out all these burgers in the burger book. If you like this episode, make sure to come back and subscribe to the channel. Really do appreciate you. I'm going to chow down on this and I'm starving. So I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.